warned that those vying for various leadership positions should desist from receiving funds from the gay community. People are reporting this. So we are scared as Ugandanese because this issue of homosexuality is not in our culture. It's actually un-Christian. It's an culture. It's not a, a Ugandan way of doing things. So when we hear that there are some, if they are there, then it's unfortunate for us. Only my word, I want to tell you, a man to marry a, a woman, a woman to marry a man, not a man to the man. Some people, the man is floating, going like this. Now the man is going around everywhere. Behind of that money, there is evil. That's why I want you to open your eyes and save our nation of Uganda. Bishop Samuel Egesa of Bukit Diocese warned that if pro-gay candidates are voted, they will sanction same-sex relationships and marriages in this country, which will entrench moral decadence. And then it will become a law in Uganda. And now there will be freedom for people of same sex to marry. The leaders from different faiths also warned the Electoral Commission against taking sides. They urged voters to go and exercise their civic right. They fear that there will be violence, but for us, we have confidence. That's why actually we are here. The Bible says when you pray, when you ask, you get what you are asking for. Now when we pray, God is not a liar. That's what he says in Numbers 23 verse 19. He's not a son of man to tell lies. When he says, ask and I will give you. We know when we pray, God give us peace. He will give us peace. The prayers were organized to pray for peace, unity and harmony as the country prepares for a general election on February 18th. Some candidates, aspiring candidates, are using um, abusive languages, they are making uh, very, very bad utterances. So we are here to address the candidates, but also talk to the Wanainchi of Tororo Municipality, Tororo District, Bukhead Sub-Region, Eastern Region, and Uganda at large. State Minister for Primary Health Care, Sarah Opendi, said the politics in Tororo is too polarizing and threatens peaceful coexistence. We have, even within Tororo, been receiving threats. People have been threatened and are being told that there will be war on the 18th and thereafter. So this might even make people not go and vote.